All right, day three at the Toledo Area Rapid Transit. It's two weeks later from our last videos. Chris is here with the Red Bird. We've been already cranking on the, uh, the flexible, Emerson's flexible. So we were able to get this thing off. I had to heat it with the uh, map gas torch, which was painted on the hub. Uh, but uh, got it off of there, it was off the bead, took it inside, we were able to pull the core and uh, cage it and put it back on the uh, on the bead there. So now the uh, wheel's going back on. In the midst of all that, John was able to work the brakes loose on the front here. Uh, John and Chris working it with a bar and then backing off the slack adjuster in there. As you can see that. So she rolls nice now. One down, three more to go. So we can try to do that. Almost out of that generator's run and take that torpedo heater over here and give us some heat. Yeah, we could do that. Yeah. I would do this as a kid with friends and we just laugh and no, I, mean, I remember blowing up a Get it up with the jacks. Get it. Uh, get the t rim back on the studs. We're tightening it down now. So we're gonna finish this up. Let it back down. Jack up the other side. Make sure that brake is loose, and go from there. You gotta go the other direction. It's on the other way. Turn it the other way, Chris. Sorry. Turn to the right. Yeah. Yep, turn, turn to the, to the right. right. that slack adjuster John yep cool all right got that slack adjuster backed off Emerson's hooking up the strap we'll hook it up to the truck give it a shot
So we did a test pull. Looks like all the wheels are free, wheel cylinders, brake drums, but the uh, we're hung up on the parking brake assembly on the output from the transmission. So the parking brake's got a band brake, kind of like a bus that has hydraulic brakes with a handbrake on it. So we think that's froze up. We're gonna get into it, see if we can get it unlocked. But looks like the wheels want to turn, they get like a good I don't know what you'd say, 16th of a turn out of it, and then it stops. Kind of like it's up against the uh, the drivetrain that's keeping it from rolling. So we're gonna give it a shot, see what we can figure out. Brake on this is on the is on the rear axle. The drum on the drive shaft. Where it inputs to the rear axle? Correct. So it's like the new school buses. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. So even like the old Chevys. The gotcha, old Chevy. gotcha. See, cause uh oh so those older Chevys, they got it right on the tail shaft of the tranny. But this baby's on there and they're a pain when they lock on. Yep. The other ones were a lot more forgiving. Chris, you can get underneath there. Yeah, then we're gonna have to either hammer it and someone's gonna have to work the Johnson bar up there. Okay. And spray it down at the same time. I, uh, I tried crawling underneath this thing last time. GMV drive. the drum itself is more likely the pads is stuck to it or the linkage is shot too. Here is the big hammer. Try moving the linkage a little bit John. It'll be behind the axle so it'll be more towards the rear of the bus. I see stuff moving up on the top, but they're on the floor, but nothing moves on the brake itself. So it's like, I don't know which one is actually the linkage for it. That's what I'm trying to figure out. I don't know how these work enough. It's just literally, it's a, I'll crawl underneath there. They may be too big to do that. 6V71. Oh, I should show you that emergency stop too. Here it is. Oh, okay. That's all it is. Electric solenoid there? Yep. Oh, it's like got a it's got a latch almost. Yep. If I had a flathead, I could get it. Okay. You can see how it wants to. I need a 
the fly head, but yeah, see this pulls out. Okay. And then that'll go poof and it'll shut and shut off all the air in the motor. Gotcha. And this is just your manual reset. You literally have to push it down and it slides over and clicks back into place. All right, so make sure that's working for you. Try to turn her over. Yes. Woo! All right. Nice work, John. Look at that. Oh, he's getting over there and headed that out there. Pop that baby loose. No, 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 Oh yeah, like molasses. Yeah, I need some shorter. Old and cold. Oh, <laughs> just straight Look on at that. Yeah. All right, so update. Parker brake, basically almost impossible to get to. Chris was the only one who could fit under there, and it is totally seized. We don't have a pry bar, it's got a, uh, it's bent, do we? Like the right oh, angle? Shit. No, I left mine in the box. I, I thought about bringing it too. Because that's what I need. That yeah, because then you can pop it. it I can... I'll take a look in my box, see what I got. More, you think? It might work, it was coming pretty good when you were hitting it. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, I thought I got the lock washers. Those are, those are the cones. I tell you what, yeah, pull those. You can get the cones out. Well, yeah, I think it's just those that are keeping it from kicking, those yeah. cones. All right, cool. Let's see if we can remove more cones. Yeah, like I think it's the cones. Once all the cones are up, yeah. that baby will pop. Damn. Oh, hell yeah, look at that. It's just those cones. So if we shove it on, can we take the, yeah, look at that. Oh, yes. Sweet. Right? Uh, uh, pliers? Pliers, grips, but pliers. Got pliers. I got over pliers grips in my thing if you don't. Sweet, yeah, look, take them cones off, that baby will slide right out of there. Are those like containers? Yep. They help hold it on. Some vehicles have them, some don't. Yeah, I've never seen them. Oh, I see. So they just, they're like center at that. Yeah. Right there. And you notice it's only a couple. Yep. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's not, yeah. It's only, yeah, the three. Like you say, it centers it up. Get some of those. Yeah. Pop it again. Oh, yeah. yeah there we go. Pull it right out. All right. Make sure you can hear. We need a rag. I got a rag right here. Yeah. Keep the splines. With the extra hubs. Yeah. <laughs> <Shouldn't go anywhere. laughs> All right, we could try her out. Try round two now. All right, so here's an update. Pulled the axle shaft, gave it a little test pull, pulled it forward about three feet or so. It's ready to go, ready to be loaded on the trailer. Uh oh, Emerson's got a dangerous weapon. Look out. Uh oh, yeah. Emerson's with the scissors there. Careful, it's been a good day so far. We don't want to change it. Yeah, we don't want to turn this video to black and white because you got blood coming out of here. It's all right. I'll take a little bit of blood at this point. We got to move it. So we're going to put uh, Emerson's working on the cardboard here, cover the hub, and uh, put the nut back on. That'll, the nuts back on. That'll keep it sealed and it'll be ready for transport. So everything rolls here. Gonna load a bus tomorrow. All right, rolling out behind the Redbird through the Toledo area rapid transit building. Lots of interior storage here for buses, huge garage. Definitely the lighting in here leaves to be desired. 
no taking advantage of any uh, lighting incentives here. There's not one LED bulb in the place, I don't think. <laughs> but uh, rolling out was a good uh, uh, was a good day. Uh, afternoon, totally different than a couple weeks ago. Uh, we were able to get Emerson's bus rolling, so the flexible's rolling. Uh, the other two, the big old look, the 5105 and uh, uh, Chris's um, fishbowl, the coach uh, fishbowl, uh, that's all ready to go. Well, it's all rolling. So tomorrow it'll be putting some batteries in the 5105, heating it up with the torpedo heater, see if we can get it to light off. Turn off the hazards there. Um, but put the batteries in the 5105. See if we can get that to light off. We're going to load a bus. Uh, it's going to be shipped up to the Midwest. So we'll have all that going on tomorrow. Right now we're going to the hotel, get checked in, go have some dinner. Thank you for watching.